Posture is incredibly important and many people are concerned. Today I'm going to show you some simple exercises to improve your posture. Hey, I'm Dr. Eckberg with Wellness for Life and by subscribing to our videos you'll learn everything that you need to know to master true health. Posture is so important and we know that people have good posture, they feel more confident, they feel better about themselves, they perform better. We also know that perfect good posture improves movement and movement creates better signals and better signals feed the brain. So you could even have a depression that is caused partially by poor posture and you could help relieve that depression by improving your posture. Now that's not the only factor but it is worthwhile uh, paying attention to. So let me show you some really really simple things that you can do. These are called three winged friends. The first is the eagle and then the hummingbird and then the butterfly. So the eagle, we stand straight, we square up our shoulders, we move the head back so it's balancing on top of the, the spine, we move the arms straight out to the side and then we rotate the palms straight up. This is called external rotation and I'll explain in a little bit why that's so important. Uh, you go as far as you can and then you move straight up and if you can keep your arms straight and have your palms meet in the middle that's perfect if you can't don't worry uh, grab your fingers clasp your hands and stretch straight up you can add a little bit of stretch so you kind of push one shoulder up toward the ceiling and then the other and then you take a deep breath in and exhale all right so just do that. If you do it real slow, you could do it once. If you do it a little faster, you could do it a couple of times. But it's not something that you want to do for minutes at a time. It's a very, very brief exercise. So these exercises work the best if you do a little bit often. Don't try to do 10, 15 minutes at a time. Do one minute, but do it five, six, seven times a day. The second one is called the hummingbird and there's two ways to do this. You stretch straight out, you move your shoulder blades back, you pull back as if you're trying to squeeze your shoulder blades together and then you make little circles. Just like a two inch circle with your fingertips and you do a little bit backwards and a little bit forwards and then you relax. Shake it loose. Uh, if you don't have so much space or if you want to try a variety of that then you do this and you pull your shoulder blades back, you move your hands back so you have as much external rotation as possible and you make little circles and you make little circles. Perfect. The last one's called the butterfly. I'll show it first from the front and then from the side because this one's a little tricky. So put your hands behind your head and then stand up straight, open up your arms wide and then push your head straight back. Then you hold that for 10-15 seconds and you can kind of pump your head back into your hands a little bit. So let me show you that one again straight from the side. Like this. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get what's called a translation. You're not tilting back, but you're moving it straight back. It's like you're giving yourself a little bit of a double chin. Very good. And you just hold that for 10, 15 seconds. And so the whole thing can actually be done in about a minute, no more than two. But then you do this many, many times throughout the day so you make it a habit. One reason why posture is so important is that we have two basic divisions of our autonomic nervous system. One is called the stress response or fight-flight and one is called the relaxation response or feed-breed. 
And these work kind of opposite each other. So when we have a fight-flight response, we activate flexors. And flexors tend to have a default, a, a dominance by default. We, they tend to fire first. Uh, if nothing else happens, they kind of fire just to make sure. Now, with sitting, we tend to already go into a little bit of flexion. We round the shoulders out. We tend to have anterior head carriage because when we sit down, we lose the arch, the lumbar lordosis. And as soon as we lose that, then the head follows through. So these, these curves depend on each other. They work together. And when we reverse one curve in the low back, we automatically reverse the one in the neck as well. And we end up with uh, a reverse cervical curve. Now, most of us work, spend a lot of hours at a computer, and now it gets even worse. First, we sit down, we round out the back, and then we're trying to see what's on the screen. So we sit like this for eight hours a day. And then we type on the keyboard, so now we round. All of these motions are involving flexion and pronation. Internal rotation, pronation, flexion. They, these motions all go together. And when we do something a lot, then that becomes a habit. If these motions are already part of a stress response and we're stressed and we do this a lot, now that pathway, that behavior, that habit gets really, really strongly ingrained. So what we can do to counteract this is to do the opposite. Now, when we stand up straight, when we move the head back, when we pull the shoulders back, when we turn the hands out, we are opposing all those. We're doing extension and we're doing external rotation and supination. So all the exercises that I showed you involve extension, external rotation, and supination. So you're activating the pathway that is opposite the stress response. That's why it's so powerful. That's why you can actually feel better. You can feel a change in your emotional state. You can notice a change in your physiology almost immediately after doing a few stretches like this. So I would suggest that you give these stretches a try. They're excellent for improving posture. They're excellent for improving mood. And they will improve your health in the long run as well. Uh, you can do them seated at your desk. You can even sort of disguise it a little bit. If you want to, don't want to be too obvious, then as you're sitting there, you have a timer go off at your computer and you just kind of roll your hands back a little bit and stretch. And then you stick your hands behind your head and you do this and you stretch your arms a little bit. And no one's going to really think that looks too strange. Once you go to the bathroom, if you go up to the water cooler, if you take an elevator, I do this every time that I pump gas, for example. So there's lots of opportunities for us. We just need to make it a little bit of a habit. And over time, these habits make a huge change. So an easy way that you can notice if you're making progress, that you can gauge your progress, is if you just stand like this and you just shake your hands loose and you just see where your hands end up, then if your palms are facing back, then you still have a lot of dominance of internal rotation. Once you get a balance between external rotation and internal rotation, meaning your brain is also getting more balanced, then your palms are going to be ending up facing in toward your body. This one you can check pretty easy for yourself. And you can also notice that you get less rounding of the shoulders. They start coming back. Something you have to ask someone else about is if you stand straight from the side, then the front of your ear is supposed to line up with the center of your shoulder. So that's another gauge to see if you have anterior head carriage. Most people have at least an inch, usually two inches of anterior head carriage. And this is not going to change quickly. But if you do these exercises regularly, over a year or two, you can bring your 
posture back so you have a perfectly, uh, perfectly lined up posture. Let me know how this works for you. Give it a try, be consistent for a few weeks or a few months and then let me know about your experiences. Ask me if you have any questions and I'll be more than happy to clarify or answer any questions or maybe do another video if there's some details that you have that you need more information about. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button if you like the video and if you like more contents like this, that's how we know that you enjoyed it. Thanks so much.